Welcome back to our channel, where we explore fascinating stories about iconic brands and their journeys. Today, we delve into the rise and fall of a beloved family restaurant chain, Friendly. But before we begin, we kindly request you to hit that like button, share this video with your friends, and subscribe to our channel to support us in bringing you more engaging content. Now, let's dive into the facts and figures surrounding Friendly. Friendly is a chain of family restaurants primarily located in the northeastern part of the United States. It's considered an iconic New England brand, cherished by generations of locals. The restaurants are known for their red and white color scheme, welcoming environment, and a menu that specializes in breakfast, burgers, sandwiches, seafood, and, most notably, ice cream. With over 20 flavors, including their famous milkshake called the Fribble, Friendly has become synonymous with delicious frozen treats. However, despite its popularity and reputation, Friendly has faced significant challenges in recent years. In fact, it's uncertain how long they will be able to sustain their presence. Friendly has experienced two bankruptcies within a decade, in 2011 and 2020. But the issues run deeper, as the chain has been in decline for about 30 to 40 years. Let's explore the various owners of Friendly and how each impacted the brand. It all began in 1935 when two brothers, Curtis and Presley Blake, co-founded Friendly. At ages 18 and 20, during the Great Depression, they borrowed $547 from their parents to open a small ice cream shop in Springfield, Massachusetts. Their innovative idea was to offer two scoops for the price of one, attracting customers during challenging times. They quickly gained popularity, selling over 500 cones on their first day. Over the years, the Blake brothers expanded their business, opening more restaurants and adding items to the menu. By the late 1970s, Friendly had over 600 locations in 16 states. Their success was built on a commitment to the customer experience. They provided a friendly environment and even replaced cones for free if a customer dropped them. The Blake brothers retained tight control over the restaurants, avoiding franchising to ensure quality standards. In 1979, the iconic chocolate company, Hershey, acquired Friendly for $164 million as part of their diversification efforts. Hershey introduced their candies as ice cream toppings and expanded Friendly Breach by selling ice cream treats in supermarkets. However, Hershey faced challenges managing the restaurant business, and in 1988, they sold Friendly to an investment group led by Donald N. Smith. Donald Smith, a respected figure in the industry, had previous success at McDonald's, Burger King, and other restaurant chains. Under Smith's leadership, Friendly went through changes, including a name modification from Friendly Ice Cream to Friendly. The chain attempted to appeal to a broader customer base by renovating restaurants and introducing higher-priced menu items. However, these efforts failed to reverse the declining sales. By 1997, Friendly was facing financial difficulties, compounded by increased competition and high debt. They initiated a public stock offering to raise funds and reduce their debt burden. Unfortunately, the stock price fell drastically over the next few years, from $26 to almost $2 per share. In an attempt to stabilize the company, Friendly made various strategic changes. They closed underperforming locations, re-evaluated their menu offerings, and implemented cost-cutting measures. However, these efforts were not enough to revive the struggling chain. In 2011, Friendly filed for bankruptcy for the first time, burdened by a debt of approximately $280 million. As part of the restructuring, the company closed over 100 locations and laid off numerous employees. But despite the bankruptcy, Friendly managed to continue operating, albeit with a significantly reduced footprint. Friendly underwent another ownership change in 2016 when it was acquired by Sun Capital Partners, a private equity firm. Sun Capital aimed to revitalize the brand by focusing on nostalgia and bringing back the old-fashioned charm that had endeared Friendly to its customers for decades. However, despite these efforts, Friendly faced ongoing challenges. The chain struggled to adapt to changing consumer preferences and increased competition from fast casual and quick service restaurants. The rise of online delivery platforms also posed a challenge for a restaurant primarily focused on in-person dining. Then, in November 2020, Friendly filed for bankruptcy once again, citing the financial strain caused by the COVID-19 pandemic. The pandemic severely impacted the restaurant industry, with many establishments forced to close or operate at limited capacity. Friendly, already struggling before the pandemic, was unable to withstand the additional financial pressures. Following the bankruptcy filing, it was announced that a subsidiary of restaurant brands International RBI, the parent company of Burger King and Tim Hortons, had entered into a stalking horse asset purchase agreement to acquire Friendly. The acquisition aimed to keep some Friendly locations open and preserve jobs. However, the future of Friendly remains uncertain. While some locations continue to operate under the new ownership, the chain's overall trajectory is unclear. 
The challenges Friendly faced over the years, including financial struggles, changing consumer preferences, and increased competition, highlight the difficulties that even iconic brands can face in a rapidly evolving market. As we wrap up this episode on the rise and fall of Friendly, we hope you found this journey through the history of this beloved family restaurant chain insightful. Don't forget to like this video, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel for more captivating stories. Thank you for joining us today, and until next time, stay curious and keep exploring.